What's up everybody, I'm AK and welcome to the Minority Mindset. Today I'm gonna give you seven hacks to help you dominate the markets. Number one, start small. The market can have a steep learning curve. It is not easy, regardless of what all these gurus tell you. The truth is the first time you try it out, you're probably gonna lose, that's just how it goes. So the trick is to just start with small amounts of money, that way you're not losing too much. And here's the thing, everybody loses in the market when they start out, we call it tuition, that's how you learn. But wouldn't it be better to pay a little bit of tuition instead of a lot of bit of tuition? It's much better to start out losing hundreds of dollars because you're gonna learn the same lessons you're gonna need when you eventually have to go through losing tens of thousands of dollars. And don't worry, you're not just gonna be losing all the time, it's just all part of the process so you can make long-term gains. Hack number two, do not sell stocks in fear. Selling your stocks when the market is dropping and everyone is scared is one of the worst things you can do. Because the market is always testing what we call the weak hands. Mr. Market, as we call him, just pokes, pokes, and pokes and tries to get you to sell. He tries to separate who are the strong hands, the people willing to hold and make the long-term gains versus the guys who are just gonna sell out and lose. You don't wanna be one of those losers. Just take the 2008 crash, for example. Almost everybody ended up selling selling all their holdings at the bottom. Because they were scared. I mean, it looked like it was the end of the world. It really did. But after they sold out during that time of extreme fear, guess what happened? The market turned around, didn't it? Then it went up hundreds of percent without them. They missed out on all those gains. Selling out your stock positions during market dips can really erode your returns over time. So make sure you make it a habit to not sell during times of fear. Look at this chart of different asset classes and how they perform. Almost everything makes money. REITs, gold, oil, stocks or the S&P 500, bonds, real estate. The one category not making good returns is the average investor. Because the average investor is someone who sells out when things get scary. And it's a huge mistake. And this is why you don't want to be like the majority when it comes to investing. Hack number three, contribute consistently. You should be trying to make contributions to your investment account as often as possible. The more money you add, the more your money can grow. And the best way to do this is just to automate your savings plan. So every month you should be automatically contributing a portion of your savings to your investment account. Just put it on autopilot so you don't have to worry about it and you know it's getting done. That is going to be a huge contributor to your gains over time. Hack number four, buy companies that delight you. A good way to figure out which stocks you should buy is just looking at companies that you use every day and enjoy. If you use a business a lot and you enjoy the experience and you keep going back, well, chances are other people feel the same way. And you might just have a good business on your hands. For me, for example, I'm always using Google and I'm always ordering stuff off of Amazon. So owning stock in those companies isn't a bad idea for me. I'm also always going to Chipotle for lunch to get my burrito bowl. And every time I go, I'm waiting in line. Now that might be annoying for me waiting in line, but it also tells me that there's a lot of customers and Chipotle might be a good business to invest in. Now the key here is to think about companies that you personally spend money with. So if you use Facebook and Instagram, but don't necessarily spend money there, then they might not be the best investment for you. You wanna to stick to things that you're already spending money on that you really like. And this is a great rule of thumb of how to get started in investing. Hack number five, do not cheerlead and obsess over your stocks. When you first get into markets, it can be really addictive. And before you know it, you're just constantly checking your stock prices on your phone and just acting like a junkie. Can't get enough. But the more you watch your stocks and the more you obsess over them, the more emotionally attached you get to them. And when your emotions get involved, well, that is not a good sign. Because then you might start doing things like putting way too much money into that stock or not selling when you're supposed to sell. You just love it so much you throw all logic out of the window. That's not what you want. So the best thing you can do is just set a scheduled time of when you're gonna check your stock prices. Depending on your strategy, it could be once a day or even once a week. I personally only check the market once a week and it works out just fine for me. So whatever schedule you pick, just stick to it. Hack number six, invest with large cash. Large cap stocks are companies that are worth 10 billion or more. They're also called blue chip stocks, if you've heard that term. Historically, these types of stocks perform the most consistently over the long term. Now, smaller companies and smaller caps, they can offer a bigger return, but they're also more likely to fail. Companies like Apple, Google, Facebook, they are large, large institutions that are involved in millions of people's everyday lives. That's part of the reason why they're large caps. So focusing on these large cap stocks 
facts will give you the highest probability of success, especially as a beginner. And especially if you're trying to not lose money in the market because you're investing with say your retirement funds or something. Large caps are great when you wanna be extra safe. Now, of course, as you get more experienced, you might wanna move into the more speculative investments like small caps or even micro caps. And that's fine once you have experience and some extra cash. But when you're starting out, stick with the large caps. You'll be much better off for it. Hack number seven think long term. The reason Warren Buffett has been able to do so well and make billions and billions of dollars is because he is a long term thinker. All the richest people in the world know that wealth takes time to build. You got to think long term. It takes time in the market and a lot of compounding over multiple years to hit that seven figure level and beyond. Now that's not to say you can't be successful and make money in the short term. You absolutely can. But true massive wealth that has to be built over time. By thinking long term, you're going to let the market work for you instead of against you. Because what happens to a lot of people is that they think trading is fun, so they trade more and more and they're jumping in and out of stocks. And the issue is that they never hold onto a stock long enough to get those true gains and they also rack up a lot of costs trading in and out because there's commissions. Honestly, the majority of investors are only thinking short term and that's why they barely make money and oftentimes they're losing. The minority of investors are thinking long term. They're thinking about true wealth building. Make sure you have that minority mindset Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you smash that like button and share with one friend so we can spread the word. Subscribe to the Minority Mindset YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss our new stock market videos that come out every Monday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. And if you want more of me, then you can check out my personal channel at Fallible, where we release videos every single day all about markets and business. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.